hi guys welcome to my channel so today's video i have two interesting personalities that i know their um, information is going to inform your decision on um, the public health anatomist um, topic so on my left they will just quickly introduce themselves um, on my left i have victor Kole. and on my right i have uh, prosper shaibo golden boy <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you can see they're already amazing personalities okay Before we go straight into the question, I just want to like give you this um, tip of the iceberg. Um, they are both anatomists, like they studied anatomy, so for their BSc, but they are going to like be sharing their um, idea about public health. So I'll just let them like answer the questions that I've written out for them. Um, the first question is, um, what university did you study your bachelor's in anatomy? So I'll just like start with you, Victor. So I studied my BSc anatomy in. Enugu State University of Science and Technology, Enugu, Nigeria. Yeah, and is he a four-year course or was it like five? So, uh, it was supposed to be a four-year course though, but you know how the Nigeria school system <laughs> is. So. You're like, what I mean was like, um, you know, um, I think this um, technology school is a federal university. I would like to put it on the screen. Mm -hmm. They do the anatomy. Lautech, yeah, they Lautech. do anatomy for five years. Like, no, so my school years. is five years. Yeah. Oh, I did it for five years. Oh, that's great. 2014 to 2019. <coughs> wow, like... Without strike or strike? Uh, strike intensive. Okay, but duration is like five years. Yeah, the duration is five years. Yeah, because I knew like Lautech too is like five years. Okay. So like, first of all, I'll just ask you the same question. What university like did you study your bachelor's in anatomy? Uh, I studied my bachelor's in anatomy <laughs> <laughs> at Bingham it? University. Shout out to Bingham University. Yeah. Student ah. of Bingham University. Ah. <laughs> Uh, so I studied it's my. Because that did not go to private university. <laughs> <laughs> I studied my bachelor at Birmingham University. Funny enough, I didn't start with anatomy. I started with physiology in hundred level, but around the corner I had to switch to anatomy. Oh, that's it. So like you have both the physiology and anatomy yeah. idea and the public health now. Yeah. Okay, and me, you already know I studied anatomy at the um, Nandi Azikiwe University. So um, that's the focus from there. Then um, what university now are you studying your master's in public health? I'm studying, currently doing my master's in public health in the University of Dundee here in Scotland. Okay, and was it same for you? Yeah, I'm not studying, I studied. I studied. <laughs> fresh, fresh. Yeah, graduate. fresh MPH graduate. <laughs> yeah. And what about you? I did last year, finished last year. Okay, that's good. So it's like we're giving you varieties on this channel. So we have somebody from the previous year and we have like somebody from the current year that you get. Okay, so I'll just move straight to the next question. And it says, like, what area of specialization um, did you um, study for the public health? Because I remember for anatomy, um, they had this reproductive science, they have the teratology. I was really fascinated about the embryology aspect. So like for public health, um, could you inform us, do they have like um, specializations that someone can say, okay, this is what I want to um, put my interest in for the public health. So uh, I'll just go with you, Prosper. I don't know if you get the question. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So there are various specializations. I don't know if I could list everything now, but the very few I know, I know you have the biostatistics, statistics, then you have epidemiology, you have health promotion, you have environmental health and safety. I think those ones, then you have the opportunity of have de delving into health policies as well. So that's, and uh, with this, you also have, just speaking on the MPH part, but generally we also have to put in mind there are also courses like global public health, global MSC public health. So that's then you now be delving into things like maternal health reproductive health as well so a whole loop a whole like loads of areas. yeah areas you could definitely specialize in but for me i decided to go with the statistics part okay. so at the university of dundee first semester was the clinical statistics going into second semester i picked my core module as applied statistics with observational study in observational studies and clinical trials then you had the opportunity to do applied epidemiology as well. Oh, that's so great. Stick with so the like, statistics. Was it same for you, Victor? Did you like go through the statistics aspect just like first part? Yeah, so uh, 
you know we are the Gen Z of public. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, so we had the opportunity to go into, I mean, to explore different specialties like um, public health proper, um, epidemiology, clinical statistics, um, observational studies, you know, research methods and all that. So there are lots of specialties in public health. But basically, someone with a uh, MPH degree yeah. has to go through the process of studying four major specialties. Okay, that's so, easy for the University of Dundee. Yeah, like for everywhere. generally, generally. Okay. So to be a, a, a public health expert, you go through these four specialties like health promotion, um, health promotion, health improvement, public health, and the epidemiology aspects. Like which area did you go into? So, for me, I went into research methods. Proper. Oh, research methods. Yeah, that's my um, option, research methods. And initially, I, I, my option was clinical statistics and observational studies. Yeah. So, with time, I developed better passion for the research okay. methods since I had. Yeah. Um, so I research. just like want to ask. Um, was it like your decision to, um, not really your decision, like what uh, made you go into these um, areas of specialization? Like uh, for you, Prosper, why did you feel like doing clinical statistics? Is it because um, that's the demand or is it because you earn more, it's more lucrative, you earn more money from that? Or like, like I, what, what do you think would have pushed you to um, go into this area of specialization? Why not go for health promotion? Why did you like? Okay. Uh, for me, during our undergrad, we had the opportunity to do biostatistics as well, the, the demography as well. So, mm -hmm. I've always been good at statistics. And it wasn't, I didn't just pick it because it was easy to me, but I felt I needed to develop on one skill instead of becoming, uh, should I say, a master of, I won't say a master, but have the knowledge of all the skills without developing on one. Mm. And I said it bef this somewhere before they almost killed me. <laughs> but I was like, research, it's something I could always pick up. Research, I won't say epidemiology, it's something I could pick up. But I felt research, health promotion, based on previous knowledge I've had in the past, I felt these were things I could pick up and learn as I move forward. Unlike statistics, where you have to actually sit down and have someone that has mastered the course teach you. So I was like, okay, I'll move into statistics aspect as well. And funny enough, that's when I discovered as well that like, lots of people don't, do that don't delve into that throughout our whole course we're just three that did the core oh. wow. module so what about your set how many of you uh we're about six of us yeah. that did statistics yeah oh. so of no gen you, generally you generally whole class no, that was the first semester yeah clinical first statistics. semester clinical statistics the everyone was it but the second one applied statistics and yeah. uh, clinical trials um well up to 10 in our class. Okay. Yeah, so you don't have lots of people not doing that. Yeah. Yeah. And it's not, yeah, so, so that, like that's you know, that you just master that skill. Yeah, like, let me develop on So how about you? Like, why did you, like, choose research? Was it, like, the um, one you know you get good oh. grades? Or, like, why? Good was grades. More lucrative? <laughs> what was your reason? See, first off, I would like to, yeah. having good grades in public health is very important. Yeah, it's very important. <laughs> for any cost. For any cost. Yeah. Actually considering how much we've paid for tuition. You know? Honestly. Imagine but to some people to, it yeah. doesn't matter but yes, it does. Yeah so for me I, I <coughs> chose research methods because since just like Prosper said initially yeah. the, having passion for something goes a long way to determine how far you go through that process. So for me I had um, passion for research. Yeah, you're you're very evident. Yeah. You went through Antonio publication <laughs> yeah, we together. Yeah, so. <laughs> same research internship, Antonio research. Um, yeah, yeah, that's true. Yeah, so through um, Professor Omar Para. Yeah, Professor yeah, he Omar made um, research very very um, passionate and interesting for yeah. us. Yeah, no one would actually go through Professor Omar Para that would not love research. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> yeah, <something. laughs> yeah. So coming down here, I actually found out that research here is much more easier. You know, they simplify everything. I'm just, especially in our course, in the MPH course, yeah. they make research very, very easy for you. That's why Prosper actually said that 
research is something you can take up. But it's not. It's not something you can no, take up. No, they argue. Down for that. Come and do statistics. No. You guys should come and do statistics. No. You need to think of a problem to solve. That's the problem. How many when people think see? you think of a problem see. to solve, you also have to draw the methodology and don't, design. Don't mind personal. I don't even and know if it's because write. of video. See? <laughs> <laughs> In our own research, it's actually split into how many? Four, six? Yeah, I didn't do case research. control. Yeah, okay, okay yeah, case yeah, control and all those. Yeah. yeah, so you do case control. You do, are you serious? Yeah, yeah, different styles of doing research. So yeah, for them to break it down trials. into um, such strategies yeah. will just make the whole work easier for you. Mm -hmm. So I'm well learned too. Yeah. Okay, so I'll just move into the next question. So um, why do you think people that study um, BSc in anatomy? just want to venture into public health because like I've mentored a lot of people and they're like okay um, since anatomy is a dead science course it's a course that there's no job opportunity and whatever can I do a master's in public health so that they can go out of anatomy mm -hmm. and just see a better life so why do people feel like public health is the escape route of anatomy like from your own perspective and case um, why do you think it's like that do I start with Victor or Oscar? Yeah. okay Victor. so <laughs> for me just like you said earlier, anatomy is a death science course. That's the perspective. That's the perspective, but that that's not what that's it is. Not, yeah. yeah, you like we all know that's not what it is, yeah. So um for me I think so many people go into public health, not just from um anatomy, surgery, surgery guys, medicine surgery, um, physiotherapists, even people from outside the medical field, like bankers, lawyers, yeah. lawyers, oh, engineers, engineers yeah. also come into public health. You and know. it's ideal for them. Yeah, when you have yeah, things yeah, like yeah. health policy, then you yeah. have lawyers so doing after, that. After, well. after you graduate, you now, you know, tailor your own specific need into your own career mm -hmm. and then you go into... Yeah, so like someone from banking and finance can come out and then go into mm. financial aspect, like budgeting, yeah. finance, public health and everything. Wow. So it's, it's just like an attribute, very, very broad. Mm. Yeah, so basically after COVID, um, people took interest in public health because if you were during that pandemic period, so many, um, it, it's very, very evident that public health experts were at the forefront of, of COVID, you know? So for me, it's more about the demand yeah. for public health experts. And if you look at the career progression, it's <coughs> according to um, National Bureau of Statistics, says it increases by about 21.6 percent wow. you know growth rate in the future like course, yeah, yeah so <laughs> so judging from that for me i looked at the demand i looked at what works for longer term yeah. you know and then decided to go into oh, that's yeah. good. so uh, what about you like what do you think mm. okay First of all, I just want to say, like, we are sharing experiences here. It doesn't have to be what you go through. Yeah. Or it doesn't have to be what you do. Yeah, so yeah, it doesn't have to be. It's just what we've encountered and what I think. So basically, for me, I've told you several times, like, public health wasn't even my first choice. Mm. On leaving university, I did, well, my first choice was, oh, I do it. I sport exercise physiology. I still wanted to go down the anatomy route. But... During the NOIC, what I encountered, and it wasn't just, oh, my surroundings. Yeah. I literally felt sick during that period, like serious sickness. And I was like, oh, these are issues that actually can be avoided. That was one of the things that pushed me into uh, picking and pushing for public health. So then we further research, and it wasn't just like, oh, this is a course, this is, I just had to, had to do proper research. If I start this course, what's the career projection? Where am I going with this course? How am I going to finish this master's and all? So first off is, for me, I feel the passion should be there. You're not just picking it because you want to pick it. People's life are in your hand. We saw the amount of death that happened during the COVID. I yeah. think, can you be out there when things like this go sideways? And we're not saying it's not to scare anybody or anything, but do you actually have the passion to actually do the course? So passion was there. Then, aside that, I spoke of the career progression. Oh, then some people might see that as a financial incentive. I know because people generally people will be like, a passion won't carry go market. Yeah, passion. Passion <laughs> I know, yeah. So then you have the financial incentives that come with it. But like I said, it wasn't my first choice. So 
me going into it was because of why I encountered why I feel okay yes there needs to be a difference yeah and literally that was what pushed me into public health so, so literally just to make you ready or uh, better prepared for the future yeah so going into the course as well I was like oh this is why I came for I came okay when I actually came to university of Georgia, I just came okay yes I'm here to learn the public health make it like because it's different when you just go through the school and the school doesn't go through like mm. you just go through these courses mm. and the courses don't go through that's why any day anytime i could stand i did statistics i can stand and teach statistics anywhere yeah. anytime you get so it was just oh yeah and the passion actually like made pick up these things like yeah so yeah push the course so so like just to summarize what you've said um Vita said um he went into it because uh it's a very broad area and um it's lucrative in the fact that plenty of professionals like go into public health and he has also talked about um the demand for um, public health um, is this specialist now or scientist what do we practitioners. call them? okay, okay. Public, health public health professionals pro- uh, practitioners or professionals yeah. yeah so the demand for them so that's why he went into um, public health that's not saying it's it must be your own opinion but it's just like sharing his own experience why prosper has said um three things that um, because of the lucrative financial part of it, mm-hmm. and he has said passion, that he was passionate about, okay, this is what he wants to do. And he has also talked about career progression. So mm-hmm. this is why they did not just take the masters in anatomy, but they took the masters in um, public health. Okay, so I'll just move to the next question. Um, I don't want to go through the aspect of, do you regret studying anatomy? Mm-hmm. But I would rather ask, um, would you still love to do anatomy if you're presented with such opportunity? Wait, do you regret doing anatomy? Me personally, I don't regret. Do you doing regret anatomy. doing anatomy? I don't because me, I don't regret doing anatomy. No, that's actually. why I said I oh. don't want to go through the aspect of do you regret, but I want to come in a different way. Yeah. Like if you, since you you're out now, you're into public health. Mm-hmm. Do you feel you could still do the anatomy role if you're presented with that opportunity? It's like kind of a tricky question. Sure. Why not? Uh, I mean, uh, if you just, see a just, just, just like, job just like they say, you can't, you can't, you can't, you can't bite the hand that feeds you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, but that's the truth. That. Yeah, and I, I had to <laughs> <this door>. <laughs> 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 Yeah, if not for anatomy, we won't be here. Okay. We won't even be in front of this camera today. Yeah, but no, truthfully, that's the truth. Um, so if you're presented, if I'm presented with anatomy yeah. opportunity, go I'll, I'll go for it. Like, I mean. Anatomy is actually very lucrative too, so mm. especially so here, not in Nigeria. <laughs> yeah, it's lucrative. Yeah. To avoid long talk, really, I don't think I'll go back to anatomy. I won't. I, I, I love the that. <laughs> too invested in. I don't say I'm too invested in public health, but I enjoy it. Like, like yeah. I said, passion pushed me to it. So, something I do freely. Anatomy, I have to probably go back and start <laughs> reading a lot, like studying. I know, and it's not just because it's a human body, but it would be hard for me to actually go back. Like if I was to actually pick up a public health textbook now, it would be easier for me to go through it okay. than going through an anatomy textbook. Like, because I prefer it. Okay. Back to I, it. I, I, <laughs> comes on easy with me, so. I love I love the honesty in that. The next question uh, says, what parts of your um, master's um, study did you like? Do you want to share to us? Like, what was the best part of your master's study? Um, did you like gain skills that would be helpful for you in um job sector like and um, for instance for embryology because i i did the master's in embryology so um did you like for and i, and I can say i know how to prepare dish yeah i know how to freeze embryos i know how to that's freeze. a count spam <laughs> 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 so, I know, so i i know how to cut spam. so i know how to do this i have like transferable skills is it transferable no i have like skills that i can use in the profession per se so like during your study, like, what was the best part of the master's study? Did you gain any skill that you can actually use in the job sector? I think we'll start with um, Prosper this time. Yeah.